MJB, aka Cleveland. I got this NBA 2K18 My Career fight, featuring the best from the West, Mr. Quad Dub, Beast on the Block, Real Deal, Neil Steel, Bat 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 Bridges. So I am back with game number seven of this first round playoff series against the Clippers. Now, I ended up skipping game number six, bro. We ended up playing terrible, and I know you really didn't want to see that. And I really wanted to bring you number seven. Look at Harden taking a three back to back, missing it. I was like, oh, if this is a sign of things to come, this game isn't going to go too well. And you know the computer like to cheat when you play on Hall of Fame. And when you get over here to clutch time, crunch time, whatever you want to call it, in the final game of a playoff series, game seven, I knew it was going to be insane. Now, speaking of insane, the Cleveland Swaggaleers have made it to the NBA Finals. LeBron put the team on his back, literally, and wielded them into the Finals. I could not believe my eyes. They're put. Blake Griffin still out here dunking on people, eh? That's how it's going to be, Blake. Hard and wide open, finally hitting a three-pointer. But like I was saying, he had a tough playoff run. The Indiana Pacers took him to seven. I really thought the Pacers were going to win that series. Now they ended up breezing through the Toronto Raptors. I mean, the Raptors are going to be the Raptors. You know what I'm saying? And then a tough game seven bruising series against the Boston Celtics. Now I think the Boston Celtics are going to be fine. They got a really good young squad and plus... Gordon Hayward wasn't even there. Kyrie Irving wasn't even there. So if you add them to the mix of what they already have, they are going to be very scary for many, many years to come. You know what I'm saying? They could even trade away some of those pieces. I wouldn't get rid of Tatum or Brown, dog. I mean, they would be like, have to stay on the squad. You know what I'm saying? I would keep Kyrie, but you never know. They might try to ship Gordon Hayward off. I know there was rumors they might try to get Kawhi Leonard or something like that. That would be absolutely insane. My boy going in with that easy layup. You know what I'm saying? But on the other side, you know the Golden State Warriors ended up beating the Rockets. And I was really, really going for Houston. I wanted them to go to the finals. You know what I'm saying? I think they definitely would have made it if Chris Paul wouldn't have got hurt and missed game six and seven. Definitely game seven. He would have been able to do things that he's been doing all playoff long. Killing it. It's James Harden is getting the and one. DeAndre Jordan keep on getting fouls. But I really do believe that it would be the Cleveland Cavaliers going up against the Houston Rockets. You saw me getting a steal trolling in the backcourt. Over here trying to get a little pick and roll popping. Going to the hoop. Passing it to my boy and he dropped it. See my teammates out here. I feel like LeBron James. I got to do all the work, dog. And I don't know what in the blue moon old buddy was doing, but it's going to be a turnover and we got the ball back. But now that the finals are here, who do you think will win? The Golden State Warriors or the Cleveland Cavaliers? Now, oh boy, Randall from the Packers went on Twitter and said, if LeBron James and the Cavs win the finals, everyone who read... <laughs> But he said on Twitter, whoever retweets the tweet that he put out, he would buy them a jersey if the Cavs win. So, hey, buddy, you about to be out of millions of dollars if they really do win. You know what I'm saying? He got that much confidence in the Warriors. I mean, there's no reason not to. They are healthy now. They got everything clicking. They are killing it. They are filling it in the playoffs. And on top of that, I believe they got home court advantage, you know. So, yeah, they do. So, they're going to be out there doing their thing. The first game is Thursday, which is tomorrow. I know it's going to be absolutely electric in that state. Neil Bridges going up high, slamming it down hard and then punching Lou Williams in the <laughs> Oh, my goodness, dude. Why did he have to do all that? Hey, I hope I don't get suspended for the next game. 
They're going to need me out here. Look at the work I'm doing. DeAndre with another foul. He over here playing dirty. And I'm on the free throw line. I get the first one to go. Let's see if I'll be able to get this second one. And it's... Uh, and I... Oh, I missed it. Hot diggity dog. They trolling me with those free throws. Now what are we going to do? They're going to lose the ball. And I'm chair picking like a mug. Going up with the self alley. Yo! We just got swag. We just got swag. Hard in the paint. And I'm dunking in the bad man. They want to be like me. QJB. My teammates on the bench are going insane. The whole crowd is going insane. Bang! Three-pointer from Taylor. Now, it's ironic that Chris Paul isn't playing in my season right now either. He ended up getting injured. So, we got a backup point guard in there. I'm feeling just like LeBron James having to carry my team because you know James Harden don't be playing like James Harden out here. He's throwing that one up and getting it to go, though. Throwing up the three-point signs, doing his thing. But like I said in my other video, I think they mad that he's on the cover of NBA Live 18. Do it! Holy moly. Right. You really going to miss that alley -oop. I think they upset, man. So they ended up making him trash out here on my career mode. Look at the two-man game we got going on right now, though. I'm trying to get him wide open for some easy shots. And that's exactly what I do. Now I'm trying to back him up hard and open again. Yakum! Let's get it, man. We're in the third quarter. Game seven. It comes down to one game. We cannot let them try to take this one over, especially since we are at home. We want to move on to the next round of the playoffs. Now, I know I'm a little late on this series. They are already in the NBA Finals in real life. But, hey, we're going to try to get through it. You know what I'm saying? And we are going to try to see if we can win an NBA Finals. I'm really hoping so. I haven't seen the celebration or anything. Oh, I'm fouled hard. That's a flagrant ref. DeAndre with another foul. He out here acting like he's the enforcer, ain't he? Putting me down on my touch. I'm about to turn the ball over. Getting it in the paint. Beautiful pass. Will you look at that? Beautiful stuff throwing to my homeboy. He dunked it down. You know when Anderson is in the paint dunking, that means we're going to come out here and get a dub most likely. And one showing up my strength in the paint. They cannot stop me when I take matters into my own hands. And if I know I'm trying to come out here and get a victory, spin it off in the paint. Once again, going up with the layup. My teammates are hyped. The crowd is hyped. Going in again, dunking it. So who do you have in the NBA Finals, bruh? The Golden State Warriors or the Cleveland Swaggalers? Let me know in the cup. Oh, boy. I was about to dunk that thing down hard, but I got blocked. And they're coming back, hitting the jump shot. So the Clippers still have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Clutch time, crunch time, whatever you want to call it. I was like, forget it. I'm going to stop passing it to my teammates. And I'm going to come out here and make sure I put the team on my back and make sure we get this dub. Pick and roll, spin it off, coming down. Dunking it! That Neil Bridges wasn't going to come out here. Leaving my man wide open. Give me that rebound. Don't call for it, James. I'm going to find you on the break. Throw it up. Get the three. We tied it up at the moment. But now look at the score. 95-91. I'm getting it into the paint. And my boy once again for a dunk. We are trying to keep this one close. I think I can get a steal. And I can take it coast to coast. Blake Griffin behind me and all. If that was LeBron James, I would have had to worry about the chase down block. But Blake, let me go ahead and dunk that thing. I guess he didn't want to get a foul. Gallinari with another jumper, man. He is on fire in this one. 35 points. Hey, my defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't be playing no defense. Over to my boy Capella. Slamming it down with the hammer, 97-97. In the paint! Beautiful 
dunk. Cock that thing all the way back. Flex stun him and one! Look at this dude taking over! He is absolutely unstoppable, folks. Another three point play. 102 to 97. I'm feeling good about the score. In the paint again, getting another assist on the play. But it's tied at 104. I'm doing things my way. In the paint, going up, barely getting that one to go. That was very risky to take that one. I'm trying to get a steal, uh-oh. Can we get the ball back? Off the block, we got it. So under a minute, I'm taking my time. Calling for the pick. Going around it all the way to the paint. Got swag, we just got swag. Hard in the paint, and I'm dunking in the bad man. They wanna be like me. QJB. Bridges got swag. Unbelievable, man. 108 to 104. I get the rebound right there. I could ice the game right here if we get a bucket. You know I want to take it, man. You know I'm calling for another pick. Which way am I going to go? Faking them out. Uh-oh. I got to step back and try to get it popping again. Hold up. Bagging them up. Spin it off. Going up. Passing it off to Capella. Sing it for me. That's going to do it for this one. We are moving on to the next round. Going to walk out of air with it. Let me know who you think will win the NBA Finals. Leave me a like for more out here punching people and dominating. That nasty. Peace.